Um, I'm gonna roll this intro. And my man, thank you to my man. And my man. The thing. Girl, book it out. Yeah. Let me see. Period. <laughs> <laughs> don't play with me. And, and y'all keep seeing us together. Yes, that video was true. I was in the process of divorcing him. I hired a divorce attorney. Paid the retainer. Like, I'm done. It's true. No breakup. And he was like, okay, that's good. What you want to do? But see, my husband, I'm happy. Hey guys, um, Jasmine's uh, spot <laughs> appeared to be for rent on Trulia at some point today. I'm going to look it up again. Um, maybe they already rented it out. Um, but what I'm going to say is this. There's several places available on this block for sale. Okay. I don't know. This is, this looks like a neighborhood to me that, um, once upon a time, see, I don't want to see, you know, I got caught up in something once before showing someone's house and showing someone's address, the damn lease wasn't all the way up yet, or the lease was up, they're moving, evicted, whatever. So, you know, girl, once you learn, once, you know what I'm saying? Like, girl, we're not doing that again. But I think it's widely been shown on the YouTube street, so people know, you know, you can look this information up. Um, but if you just search the street, girl, there's any number of properties. So Jasmine really doesn't have to move very far if she's qualified, but because these fools have probably made their presence known in a very negative way on that block. I would, I, I wouldn't, if, if I knew they were from down the street and they were up to some shenanigans and I have a relationship with the homeowner um, and I can reach out to them and find out where they good tenants. Yeah. I mean, they don't stand a chance those things. And um, maybe they got a new tenant very quickly. Well, I don't know that they, well, the tenant, once they move in, um, Oh, you did. Okay. 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 Um, interesting, right? So look, at the end of the day, this is the deal. We all know this. Jasmine is always looking for something better, right? She wanted something better. She moved into what they called the townhouse. It wasn't really a townhouse to me. It was a one level apartment with a garage and it had a little bit of storage, it had a garage, and you could go down into the garage, park the car, and um, they kind of made it into a little bit of a cave, right? Because Chris wanted some breathing room from the house, right? So, and maybe a smoking place, because I think they were probably down there smoking and drinking and all of the things, right? Um, then they decided they wanted a house. All right. Jasmine's wanted a house. Her mom got a house. Jasmine has been wanting a house ever since her mom moved into that house. Right. Um, and, you know, to your point, um, when we listed our house for sale, girl, we had five, six offers by lunchtime. And I mean, lunchtime, like by noon. And we had settled on an offer. They There was a, a couple that basically... Um, you know, cash offer, $10,000 earnest or whatever it was. It could have even been 20,000. It, it was, it was a nice earnest money check. I can't even remember what it was now. Um, like 5,000 upfront, 20,000 by this day cash at closing. Like it was just boom, boom, boom. We want the house. It was over asking all of that. Right. Um, we had someone drop off a damn Easter story about why they wanted that. I mean, it was like, Lord, have mercy. Okay. Um, we pretty much by the following day had gone under contract because we, you know, we made up our mind. Right. Anyway, um, 
it's quite possible maybe they did because the pictures um, that were posted are nice pictures and um, it's clearly not the pictures of the current decor. <laughs> okay. It's not the pictures of the current decor and on the actual listing of the property when it was originally sold, um, they have like the model home decor um, and all of that. So, you know, someone probably just needed to go in, make sure it smelled good, wasn't nasty. So, you know, this is what we know. So I started talking about Jasmine's apartment, but at the end of the day, Jasmine had that apartment. She played around, didn't want to sign the lease. And the people were like, well, we thought you were moving. We've already leased it. We're expecting you to leave by such and such day. This is the damn second time that we know of that she has played around with rental companies. You have a lease. Your lease is up. Within a certain amount of time, they want you to tell them if you're staying or not, right? This chick decides to continue to play around with people's property and people don't want apartments sitting empty. Who wants a apartments, houses, rental properties sitting empty? If you have something sitting empty, guess what you're not making? You're not making any money, honey, right? You're not making any money. So if you don't know whether you want to stay or not, we don't have a contract anymore. Or the contract is up and I've asked you on numerous occasions to sign. Guess what somebody's going to do? They're going to handle their business and they're going to move, move your ass out, right? Now, all of a sudden, Jasmine's going over to her mom's house. Now, in my opinion, I, when Jasmine went over to her mom's about a week or two ago and picked up that damn coffee table, I don't think Jasmine knew that her ass was out. But somewhere between then and now, Jasmine has figured out that she's basically out of a place to live. And she was over there to her mother's house going to pick up her mom's camera after she smashed hers. Okay. But these people, if, if in fact she has to move by the end of the month, her lease is up, girl, she better pray. And if she wants to blame the YouTube streets, she better just blame herself. If Chris is dumb enough to believe that this is all the YouTube streets fault and this is not Jasmine's doing from trying to play uh, hide and go get it and silly stuff with people that she does not know who don't give up, like who don't, who don't care, you know, reactors, anybody on the YouTube streets who... Uh, talk about the videos that she posts and she decides to take it personal and make some sort of situation where she thinks that she's going to have, um, you know, vendettas and um, think she's going to respond and all this other stuff. At the end of the day, for me, I watch her videos and I do commentary on her videos. I don't do any type of anything else as far as Jasmine's concerned. And Jasmine is very silly to be getting out here and conduct, you know, doing all this damn nonsense because at the end of the day, now you looking silly, slow and homeless. Okay. Because if they can rent your place out in a couple of hours, if in fact that's what happened, and basically, they got a couple of people to come through. They liked all the applications. People had money, all of the things, or they decide, you know, could have rented it to family. Who knows? At the end of the day, it's a tight market, and sis doesn't have any money. Sis might just have her rent, and that's it. And it sounds like they're paying, you know, in the neighborhood of $2,400 a month. And you're going to have to get lights, power, gas, all that stuff transferred. Sometimes there's a cost if you've been behind on your bills, all of those things. This girl is so dumb and so stupid to like when she saw that this thing was going left about a week ago, she should have just shut up and stayed on track with her content. But she started this whole scenario with the pizza and the this and that. And then the okie doke uh, play was was dropped.
for her to take the bait. She took the bait, ran with it, created a whole damn storyline. And now you sitting up here, your landlords being contacted and whoever else, um, damn HOA, potentially property management, like a, a lot of people who really don't want to know nothing about your personal life. All they want to know is that they have someone living in the place who's going to take care of it. And this weirdo is sitting up here doing the damn most. I, I'm going to be honest. I don't even feel sorry for her. Like for real, I don't feel sorry for her because it's like, how could you be so stupid? How could you be so negligent with your family and the dwelling where they stay for you to be messing around and injecting people that don't even have any clue of what's going on? And now they have plenty idea of what's going on. And sis, you ain't got no damn money. You don't have any money. How are you going to live? But you know what? Again, not my problem. Not, uh, not my girl. Y'all can pack up that damn minivan and get to step in. Let's get into, um, this was a piece of video I wanted to watch earlier, but I forgot about it and didn't see it readily when we were reacting earlier today. And I might just make this it, and then I'll come back and react on Olivia. But, um, yeah, I'll put this, this will stay in members, but let's get into this video. And um, I think we're going to stop here and then I'll come back. I don't know if I'm going to do this Olivia reaction. We'll do this Olivia react. The Olivia reaction I want to do, we'll do it in the morning. Um, but let's get into this and then we'll talk about it. And um, like I said, this whole video will stay in members. And then what I kind of reduced down a little bit will be, um, it'll be in a premiere for Bougie Gang. And then we can all talk about it as a collective a little bit later on tonight. Okay. The day they went to Thinkery. So I'm not going to, well, let's show a little bit of it. Let's show a little bit from the beginning. Um, but when they go to Thinkery, y'all, I'm going to be done, okay? Because I don't I don't want to get into all that. But this was her Vita day two, okay? Day in the life, adventure, creativity, girl, not really, and mom life. It's like, I'm going to get my stuff together, brush my teeth, wash my face, and get ready for the day. Welcome to today's vlog. Let's get this together. I had a rough day yesterday, and we just got home back up. Mess with us about each other, okay? Usually, I don't post. Why does she always pick that part of usually I don't post? Like, why? It's it's turning into a joke now, ma'am. Why do you think that that's the part of the song that you want to keep playing? I just think it's ridiculous. Usually, I don't post, but I'm the world of them. Uh oh. No, she didn't. Is that was that the wait? Was that the creativity? She thinks that when she does a little something, something. That's the creativity part. Girl, I was trying to find my bushes. Sorry. Um, can we watch that part again? Girl, I'm like, wait a second. That was the creativity? You snapping your fingers and then magically you are dressed? Are you kidding me? Girl, can you please stop? Wait a second. She got to be out of her mind. She sees this stuff on TikTok and on Instagram. Girl, is she not? This is ridiculous, right? Absolutely redam donkulous. She's a whole donkey. Yes. <laughs> what? Ah! <laughs> Girl, can you can you snap your fingers that fast and rewind the hands of time so you don't just like boot yourself, trick yourself out your house, huh? Can you snap your fingers like that to a million dollars? Can you snap your fingers like that to a new reputation? Can you snap your fingers like that out of a fupa? 
Can you snap your fingers like that out of girl out of YouTube streets drama girl? If it was only just that easy, right? Let's watch it one more time. My God, sis is silly and slow. Wow. Hey guys, so I'm about to go make a kiss, a quick little breakfast. I wanted to go early so that um, I can get back in time so that I can, so Aiden can do therapy. And I want to stop at my mom's house because she said I could borrow her camera until I get my camera fixed. Not fixed, but a new camera. But so I'm going to stop by there and I'll bring you guys with me. You guys, it is 106 out in Texas today. Girl, we do not care about you and the damn coldest water company. And what about that baby you're carrying? Girl, don't, I still haven't gave up on it yet. I think she's carrying baby number six. Look at that. Look at that. It's with a new limitless. Look at that. Bottle by coldest. It's with three lids. Make sure you shop the coldest summer. Co the coldest summer? Oh, because it's a summer cup. Oh. Leak proof, and also, you guys, it comes with three lids. Make sure you shop the coldest summer. Use my code for ten percent off your coldest water bottle on the coldest website. That. Let me tell you something. I would not have those kids that close to water for nothing. Okay, uh, the way they don't listen sometimes. Oh, look at look at legendary in some in some actual shorts. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, I would not. I would not. Where's Chris? Like where we were. Look at Kaylin vlogging. <laughs> oh, the turtles. Look at the turtles. And there's way more. Look, this okay. Girl, baby number six in the belly and baby number seven and eight in her arms. Can you imagine? All right, we're going to skip ahead because I'm sorry. I don't like to me. All of this is Ooh. null and void when you're sitting on here saying that you're yeah, going to you're going to get a, something with go. a very sharp blade and use it like 188 times. That that kind of makes all of this mom mom shenanigansery um null and void. Yeah, we stop by my mom's house. Yeah. Mom Duke's got a big old a big old uh something back there. What is she, what is going on? My god. Yeah, we stop by my mom's house. Mom, didn't you know she was coming with the uh with the van? She wanted the camera. So what you sent Aiden in there? Uh, you got the water. Yeah, we stopped by my mom's house so that they can see her. Yeah. You stopped by your mom's house. So why is Aiden still at the door? Why are you in the van vlogging? Aiden still You went and jumped your big ass in the car, left Aiden there talking to his grandmother. Check this out. Look, look like when she, Aiden comes to the door. To look. She gave me her other, other side. Amaya won't let him in. She tells him other side. Homie is four and five years old. And look how close they are to the street. What if he had made a split second decision to go around the car the back way? Why are these women so reckless with their children? Why would you not jump out and hold his hand and make sure he gets to the other side of the car? Because we don't know how kids are going to think. Am I wrong for that? Like, isn't that like weird? That's just me. I'm, I only have one kid, so I don't have a margin of error. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't have no time to, I don't have no time for none of anything that comes with making bad decisions with cars and other people and other people's judgment and children making split decisions and not doing, you know, making the wrong choice, right? In terms of, let me go in front of the car rather than in back of the car. You know, you follow what I'm saying? Um, just watch I mean, this is just ridiculous that she would allow that. This is ridiculous. Yeah, we stopped by my mom's house. You got the water. Yeah, we stopped by my mom's house so that they can, can see her. her. Yeah, get in the car and I'll give it to you. So they can say hi to their Nana. And she yeah, gave me her other, other side. So she can... Um, other side.
She's lazy. She's so lazy. My pull it back. So they can say hi to her and she's get, let me use the camera for a bit so she's not. Aren't you as the mom, the last one to get in the car, make sure everyone's in, seatbelts, everything. This trick is so fucking lazy, man. She's so lazy. I'm not using it, so. Even though it's a little raggedy, but it's okay. Okay, so we made it back home. The kids are having lunch. And I'm about to have a salad. My mom gave me a salad. She said, stop yelling. She said she didn't want it, so I'm going to go ahead and eat it. I haven't had anything to eat today. Do you consider well, what uh, Legendary does, yelling or screaming? He's Yelling is when you talk extremely loud. Screaming is screaming, right? Am I wrong about that? Yelling is talking loud. Screaming is making very loud screeching noises and and inaudible, right? I, I will have to look up. It is broken, but it at least works. That's the thing, y'all. At least it works. I was talking to my kids in the car too, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all. I was telling them, you know, like as you get older, little memories as you remember as a kid start to fade away as you get older. Like I don't remember a lot of stuff. I remember a little bit here and there as I grew up. Um, and that's why this is why I do YouTube so that they can look back on stuff that they might have forgot. I thought you started doing YouTube because you wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. And YouTube allowed you to make an income to be able to take care of your family. Now it's you want to collect memories. This this woman wants people to feel sorry for her so bad. I was talking about Ken. I was like, I don't even remember my birthday party when I was one. So you can look back and see that. Like that's the good part about being a content creator on YouTube because like, you can look back on little things. And that's you know people like to try and take that joy away from my kids by hurting me. And. I, I sit here and I, I talk to them and I'm just like, nah, see, this is this is really why I did it, y'all. This is why I did it and I'm grateful for, and I'm glad that I became a content creator, even despite all the negativity and stuff and all the hate. Um, today's a new day. A lot of people are saying confused about things. There's nothing to be confused about. I was really not in the mood yesterday. It was that, okay? And today I had this, I woke up and I said, we're going to have a better day. We're going to just move around them obstacles and just keep pushing. And that's what I'm doing today by posting and vlogging. Um, because nobody's gonna stop me from being a content creator no matter what, because this is what I do for my kids. I do it for my family. Like, baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel like chemistry. I won't let no one come and by hurting me. And I, I sit here, I, I was talking about Kelly, but I don't even remember my birthday party when I was one. So you can look back and see that. Like, that's the good part about being a content creator on YouTube, because if you look back on little things, and that's you know, people like to try and take that joy away from my kids by hurting me. And I, I sit here and I, I talk to them and I'm just like, nah, see, this is this is really why I did it, y'all. This is why I did it and I'm grateful for and I'm glad that I became a content creator, even despite all the negativity and stuff and all the hate. Um today's a new day. A lot of people say, Y'all, I'm sorry, things. just a Instead second. My stuff, husband called me. Back on stuff that they uh, forgot. I was talking about Kelly, like I don't even remember my birthday party when I was one. So you can look back and see that. Like that's the good part about being a content creator on YouTube because like, you can look back on little things. And that's you know, people like to try and take that joy away. A lot of stuff I remember a little bit here and there as I grew up. Um, okay, I so yeah, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, my bad. Um, she wants to guilt trip people, absolutely. So she's trying to tug at people's heartstrings so that I, I don't know. Look, at the end of the day, this is what I'm going to go back to. Aside from everything that happened this week on the YouTube streets, everything, right? Aside from the pizzas, the landlord, the beefing back and forth playing with people, all of the things. Sis, you should have signed your lease. Can we just talk about that? You had a lease and you chose to let your lease expire. You wanted to play around with Chris at the beginning of the year. You went to all of those expensive furniture stores. You wanted a bigger place. You want all these extra bedrooms. You want all this and that. You want a certain type of lifestyle. This man is not your husband. You need to make plans revolving around a woman who lives with a man, quote unquote, who's not your husband and revolves around the money that you make. Okay. The money that you make, not the money that he promises you or the money you think you're going to have all of those things at the end of the day, you need to make plans around you as a woman who is not married. And with a guy who's got three children with two other women whose money is funny. Okay.
Because quiet as it's kept, sis, your money funny too. Your money's real funny. And what's even less funny about it is the fact that you broke your damn camera. So you're borrowing your old camera you gave to your mother. And sis, I'm, I'm almost convinced you don't have any money. So if your lease is really up and these people went ahead and pulled their uh, pulled the card out on you and said, you know what? We don't have a contract anyway and we're not offering you another lease and we are going to move on from this situation. You just screwed yourself again. This is the second time this has happened to you in two years because this is exactly what happened the last time you decided to play around with a lease. I, this is why I do YouTube so that they can look back on stuff that they might have forgot. Like we was talking about Kelly, like I don't even remember my birthday party when I was one. So you can look back and see that. Like that's the good part about being a content creator on YouTube because you can look back on little things. And that's, you know, people like- It's not about being a content creator on YouTube. People film themselves all day, every day and post it to Dropbox, post it to the iCloud, make movies, share it with family, and they don't turn it to coin. They don't monetize it. So stop using YouTube as an excuse for keeping memories. People keep memories without posting them on YouTube. They have tons of video and they don't post it. They don't monetize it. Just be for real and say you want to be a damn YouTuber. That's it. If you want to do YouTube, that's your business. Nobody cares. But stop using YouTube as the one and only way to memory keep because that's not it, sis to try and take that joy away from my kids by hurting me and i i sit here and I, I talk to them how are we going to take away the joy of you remembering a fourth birthday you can you got don't you have memory cards girl when your memory is busted you got a memory card when your memory is gone you got facebook you got instagram you got all the places that you can post uh video video pictures and everything else on top of Pay yourself a damn Dropbox. Get yourself and external like, nah, storage from your computer. It's YouTube is not the fucking memory keeper app. And maybe that's where you went wrong. Trying to use YouTube as a damn memory keeper. You want to get paid for your memories. You want to get paid to live your life. Your life is ratchet. You are ratchet. You act ratchet. And you're mad when people come at you ratchet. But you're ratchet. And if you weren't, you wouldn't be in ratchet ass drama. You wouldn't be looking for an apartment right now. And if you would handle your business like a grown woman, you wouldn't have let a lease lapse to the point where people are done with you. This is, this is really why I did it, y'all. This is why I did it. And I'm grateful. For, and I'm glad that I became a content creator, even despite all the negativity and stuff and all the hate. Um, today's a new day. A lot of people say confused about things. There's nothing to be confused about. I was really not in the mood yesterday. It was bad. Okay. And today I had this, I woke up and I said, we're going to have a better day. We're gonna you know what? Because Chris is probably trying to figure out why they're moving. Jasmine, you might be out of your apartment because you hemmed and hawed so much that you let so much time go by without dealing with these people. Maybe they were calling you. Maybe they were calling you because they needed you to sign the fucking lease. Maybe they were calling you and you weren't calling back or you didn't do something, sis, because why are you out of a house? Why are you out of your place to live? Why didn't you sign the lease? I've said this for so many years. You got to handle life before life handles you. And it looks like life is handling you right now because you didn't handle your business. You have children in a home that you have not secured. That's your fault. I'm just moving around them obstacles and just keep pushing. And that's what I'm doing today by posting and vlogging um, because nobody's going to stop me from being a content creator no matter what because this is what I do for my kids. I do it for my family. Like, Baby, you don't know what to me, me and you. You need to sign leases and handle your business for your family. Forget about YouTube. You need to be focused on your business, your livelihood, your, uh, you know, your shelter, your vehicles, your money. You need to forget about YouTube. You need to be concerned with your social media business 
and the content that you turn into cash to pay your bills, you are far too concerned about damn YouTube. It's YouTube, 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 YouTube. And at the end of the day, YouTube might be your number one moneymaker and that's fine, but you need to treat this like a business and you don't, that's what your problem is. And that's why you're sitting around looking stupid because sis, you better get on the good foot and find some place to live. I feel like chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause love you give, you can't be replaced. So I'm now Oh, and so what? Hold on a second. Did you see? So after all of the drama with the pizza, isn't this funny? See, she tries to be so damn funny. It's not funny. Okay. She tries to be so funny. It's not funny. Okay. So you still want to play with people. Okay. That's that's real cute, Jasmine, that your ass got into so much damn trouble over some damn pizzas, but now you want to zero in on some damn pizzas. You know, there's a word for her and I'm not going to use it. I use plenty of words, but I'm not going to use the one I'm thinking because it's politically not correct. But I tell you, damn it, it's at the forefront of my brain at this moment. Sis is very slow and stupid. She likes to play with people the long way. And the fact that she thinks it is cute to sit up here and use and zero in on some pizzas and serve some pizzas when some pizza ass playing around got you damn uh, looking stupid with the landlords, property management company, HOA. Enough people have been called and have created enough commotion around your slow ass shenanigans. You should have had an ironclad lease in place, but you were fooling around and didn't do the main thing, which was handle your business and have a lease. Girl, you're dumb. Dumb, da -da, dumb, dumb, dumb. Anyway, girl, Everything comes back to being a victim and um, thinking that people are doing something to her when she done, she did, did it to herself. You know what I'm saying? As far as I'm concerned, sis, you didn't did that to yourself. Absolutely. Uh, girl, she loves... If she didn't have drama, she wouldn't even know what to do. So this is the night when she was looking all crazy. Do you see this big t-shirt she has on? So after... Do you know after what happened with all that damn pizza talk, pizza would have been the last thing I wanted. And then you have two times that you say pizza came to your house and you had to turn them away. And then your slow behind goes and gets some more pizza. What? What? Look at the big t-shirt on. If that if that woman is out of a house, that's her own problem. If they if they really like if everything is what they what it what it appears to be, that's nothing but her own fault. That's her own fault. Sis is really she's girl, it's embarrassing at this point. It, it's it's just it's absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys later. Let me see what uh okay. She does. She loves drama. Okay. All right, guys, you guys take care and I will see you again next time. And my man. Thank you to my man. Thank you to my man. Hey. You call me Rachel. Thank you to my man. 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 Thank you
Thank you to my man. I was able to negotiate. Baby, literally, like, his mouth was really good. Baby, I'm able to Oh, yeah, my man. What you doing? Like, what are they doing? Oh, my man. Oh, my man. Oh, my man. Oh, my man. my man. Thank you to my man.